9-11 affects, um, how did 9-11 how did affect the economy, uh, specifically the, the people that are spending money? Okay, so that's what, uh, that's what we're gonna kind of be looking at here. Now, um, in a few minutes, I'll show you what your assignment looks like in Canvas. Um, and then you'll, uh, it, it'll go slide by slide on what I want you to put into it. Uh, but I at least wanna give you a little bit of background so that you kind of have an idea of what you should be looking for and, and researching uh, while doing this project, while doing this assignment. So, all right, so your first, first part of this, first note that I want you to put, these are going, I'm going to list off some of the different costs that are associated or involved with, uh, with these effects of 9-11. So your first one is cost of companies. So just type in in your notes, cost of companies, cost of companies in WTC. So cost of companies in WTC. What does WTC stand for? Any guesses on what it is? It's uh, World Trade Center. Okay, so the cost of the companies that were actually in the World Trade Center. So here's a little note that I'd like you to put in that uh, with this with that line. 400 businesses. Okay, so there were 400 businesses that were actually in the World Trade Center when it got attacked. So something that you could look up is how much money did that end up costing? Okay, so that could be something that you research. Uh, your next one, next cost, is the cost to rebuild New York City. The cost associated to rebuild New York City. And also DC. So the cost to rebuild New York City and also the, the cost to rebuild Washington DC. Another costed effect or cost effect that occurred here was the airline industry. So in your notes, just go ahead and type in airline industry. And again, these are all just, these are just gonna be notes that you could use uh, to help you, to uh, get you thinking about different things to research and look up while you're, while you're doing your research assignment. So the airline industry, there were a lot of costs that, that occurred with that because of 9-11. Another one is the cost of added security at airlines. Cost of, cost of added security at airlines and airports. You could no longer just show up to, a, to a, an airport 15 to 30 minutes in advance and just expect to get on a flight. Um, it wasn't just a quick run through of the security anymore. The security measures were hours long. Um, so that was a, certainly another cost associated. Um, another cost, this is something that I did not think about until, uh, until, until doing a little bit more research myself, but the cost from car accidents. Okay, so the cost of, of car accidents is something that was affected. Anybody know why the cost of car accidents would have increased or gone up due to 9-11? Less flights, okay? There were less flights, less people flying. So um, that could be something else to look at. Another one is cost of tourism. A lot of people go to New York City to, uh, to go to Times Square and, and do some of these things that, you know, where they're spending money, they're spending time there during vacations and things like that. Uh, they did not do that shortly after 9-11. So that, that took a major, that was a major cost as well. Another cost is victims and first responders. Victims and first responders. Here's a really big one that you're gonna to wanna to look up. Insurance, the insurance losses, the insurance costs.
job market, nearly 600,000 jobs were lost due to 9-11. Nearly 600,000 jobs. I'd say that's a pretty significant amount. Down to just a few left here. Uh, the next one is housing market. The housing market was affected. Veterans care. Veterans care increased. And then another major one is war, the cost of war. Our military is still battling due to 9-11. That's a significant cost as well. Okay, so now after you get that done in your notes, um, in big letters or capital letters, what I'd like you to put is the stock market. This is, this is going to be the, the next major effect stock market. Stock market did not open on 9-11. Okay, so just put that in your notes. Stock market did not open in 9-11. On 9-11. They were worried about a crash in the market as well. Due to our country being under attack. Okay, so just a couple more things that I want you to add, and, uh, and that has to do with the stock market. Okay, so underneath this part in, in your notes, um, I want to define three things for you in the stock market. The first one is called New York Stock Exchange. Okay, this is going to lead us also into our next uh, unit that we're, our next lesson that we're going to be covering in this banking, um, this banking unit, and it's over the stock market. So these notes will, will go right alongside with our next lesson, as well as this uh, specific assignment. New York Stock Exchange, okay? So you can uh, put in parentheses next to that, NYSE, New York Stock Exchange, NYSE. So you'll need to look that up just a little bit while doing this research. The next one is called Dow Jones. D-O-W, and then Jones. In parentheses, you could put D-J-I-A. This stands for Dow Jones Industrial Average. And then your last one is called NASDAQ. N-A-S-D-A-Q. N-A-S-D-A-Q. Uh, those are the three exchanges that, uh, that you'll be looking at uh, with this assignment and how these affected the stock market. So what I'm going to do next is we're going to go to Canvas and we're going to look over the assignment. Everything is spelled out in there for you. Uh, each slide has a particular amount of information that, we're, that I'm looking at with it. Um, so just go ahead and go into Canvas and you can see what that assignment is going to look like.